Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. My name is Velele Nkosi. In this video, we will learn about mutation. Mutation falls under genetics, life sciences, grade 12s. So the content of this video, I will define mutations. I will also explain the effect of mutations. I will explain how mutation contribute to genetic variation. I will also define gene mutation and chromosomal mutation. So this is the content of this video. Without wasting more time, let's get to it. What is a mutation? A mutation is a change in the genetic code or DNA of an organism. So if there is a change in a genetic code or the sequence of a nucleotide in a DNA, this process is called mutation. And then what causes mutation? Uh, this change can cause by an error in DNA replication. It can cause by an exposure to mutagens such as radiation or chemicals or viral infection. So these are the things that can cause mutation. And then we have a different types of mutation. So now I will explain a point mutation. A point mutation is a genetic mutation where a single nucleotide has changed so if there is a single nucleotide that changes and then that process is called a point mutation so here i have a dna molecule and then i divided one strand of the dna into three parts so this three part there is a deletion there is a substitution there is an addition so if one nucleotide has been deleted on the dna strand then that process is deletion and then this will cause the sequence to change so the sequence of the nucleotides will change also even if a, a, a nucleotide is been substituted so it will also affect the sequence so also again if nucleotide is added then this will also affect the sequence and then what we must know we must know the result of the affected sequence we must know what happen if the sequence is affected so if the sequence is affected that is mean the sequence of an mrna will also be different and then if the mrna is different and then will bring a different empty rna which will produce a different protein so this is the process this this mutation actually affect the protein synthesis so a different protein will be produced and then next up let's explain the effect of mutation so the effect of mutation we have harmless mutation a harmless mutation uh, usually involve a non-coding dna and then it takes 98 percent of the dna i mean non-coding dna it make about 98 percent of the dna and then it does not affect the functioning of the organism like for example uh, we have a lady here with two different colors of the iris so her color of the iris are different so this condition is called heterochromia so it's a mutation but it's harmless so this is the example of a harmless and then another effect of mutation is harmful mutation in harmful mutation the changes in dna is responsible uh, changes will take place in dna that is responsible for producing a protein and then this might affect organism appearance and the functions so in harmful mutation so example of harmful mutation is hemophilia which we talked about hemophilia and then color blindness these are the example of harmful mutation and then we have last effect which is useful mutation so useful mutation is when a new formed allele might increase organism chances of survival so here a new allele is formed and then which might increase the chances of survival and then if it passes on it will lead to a genetic variation that is the advantage of the individual for example here we have a giraffe so this this giraffe have a small a shorter neck and then the, the, this other one has a long neck and then it happens that a mutation has happened on the 
neck genetics or the size of the neck the, the gene that is responsible for the size of the neck so mutation that takes place has made the, the neck to be very long so as the neck is long then this giraffe is able to get a leaf even if the tree is very high so this is where mutation is useful this is the useful of the mutation so next up uh, there are two main types of mutation we have genetic mutation and chromosomal mutation so genetic mutation are changes in the dna sequence of a single gene so this is the genetic mutation is for happen in a single gene and then what caused genetic mutation so it caused by an error in dna replication and then it the if the effect of genetic mutation it causes hemophilia and the color blindness so we talked about hemophilia and the color blindness hemophilia is the inability of the blood to clot while color blindness is inability to differentiate between different colors and then this is the effect of genetic mutation chromosomal mutation are the changes in the structure of the number of chromosomes so we know that in meiosis we learned about non-disjunctions so now let's define what causes the chromosomal mutation it causes by error in a cell division such as non-disjunctions so we talked about non-disjunctions in meiosis so if and uh, it happens that two chromosomes are not separating and then this is called non-disjunction and then this will form chromosomal mutation and then the effect of chromosomal mutation is down syndrome or trisomy 21 trisomy 21 is when a uh, uh, someone with human karyotype has 47 chromosomes then that person will be trisomy 21 or have down syndrome so in the next slide let me explain non-disjunction a non-disjunction is the failure of the homologous chromosome or a sister chromatins to separate properly during cell division non-disjunctions result in daughter cells with abnormal chromosome number for example here we have normal cell division in normal cell division if we have four chromosomes we will end up having two chromosome on each cell and then in abnormal chromosome in abnormal uh, cell division here we have three instead of having two we have three three one one and then here we have two two one and three this is the result of non disjunctions and then this is chromosomal mutation so this is what uh, the video this is the end of the of this video i hope you find value in this video if you find value, please subscribe to our channel and we appreciate you. God bless you.